What's going on? If you were to put around $590 in a control token at today's price of 3912, you'd be getting about 127,000 tokens. And these tokens provide different ways of rewards through the price increase and through the rewards. So at different volumes, this value right here is all preserved. This is value that's stable coin that can't go down. As long as you're staked in the 12 month pool, this is what your stable coin rewards will be at these different volumes. And this is assuming that there's 600 million staked in the staking pools when right now we have less than 500 million so your rewards might actually be more than this so if we hit 5 million in volume you'll have 145 dollars in stable coin rewards which is pretty awesome um, if we hit 20 million you'll have 582 and so around 20 million the cost of buying 127,000 tokens at today's price you'll have that buy-in fee covered in rewards and your rewards aren't taxed when you sell which is pretty sweet if we hit 50 million you'd have around 1500 dollars so that's almost a 3x just in rewards and this is value that you can't lose which is really nice uh, no matter how many people sell their rewards or how many people sell control token they can't devalue your rewards one of the main things that we're aiming for is a hundred million that's what we're really our first big milestone that we're aiming to hit and if we hit a hundred million you would have around three grand in stablecoin rewards and the ability to sell your bag as well. So it's rewards plus the ability to sell your bag. 300 million, that becomes around $8,731. And 500 million, that becomes around 15 grand in stablecoin rewards. And if we ever hit this magical number of a billion in volume, you'd have around 30 grand in rewards. I don't know if you guys remember the old videos we used to make on Safeman where a billion in volume produced $50. And today with $590, if we ever hit a billion in volume, which may or may not happen, you would have around $30,000 worth of stablecoin built up. Now that's not just the rewards that you get, you're also getting the potential price increase of your bag. If we're seeing these higher prices, we're much likelier to see higher volume as well. And so if the price goes from today's current 0 0.00391 to the 0.1 or 10 cents, then your bag would be going from $590 to $12,700, which is kind of nice. And then if we see that dollar, uh, which is just another 10X from that 10 cents, then your bag would obviously be going to around $127,000. And so with these higher prices comes much higher volume. With the dollar, you'd probably be seeing hundreds of millions in volume. And so you'd be having the your rewards plus the ability to sell your bag. And these rewards are a protection against sell-offs. If a sell-off happens, your rewards can't go down. This is kind of worst case scenario. And it's for everybody who has 127,000 tokens. It's not if you sell, it's just for everybody who's in the staking pools. And so we're gonna jump up to 255,000 tokens, which cost around $1,180. I've included the tax to make up for it so that if you put in around $1,200, you're going to get 255,000 tokens. Unless the price goes up or down, then you'll get less or more. Uh, and so the rewards start to get better, right? The more you're willing to put in, the better these rewards start to get. So at 5 million volume, you have around $292 in preserved rewards against if you if the sell-off. So that's not much volume, and that's stable coin rewards that cannot go down. That's covering about a, a third or a fourth of your entry fee at 20 million in volume we hit that $1,168 which is pretty sweet at 50 million in volume you've got three grand so you're getting your money back at around 20 million in volume about whatever you're putting in at today's price around 20 million in volume will be covering your entry fee which is pretty sweet in rewards plus like I keep saying you have the ability to sell your bag as well and we'll go into those numbers with this as well because obviously they're more exciting 100 million in volume which is like I said that's what we're trying to get with this project that's what we're aiming for you'd have five thousand eight hundred and forty three dollars in rewards plus the ability to sell your bag at 300 million in volume you'd have over 17 grand in rewards plus the ability to sell your bag and at 500 million you'd have 30 grand if we ever hit a billion you'd have around fifty eight thousand dollars in rewards i'm not saying these are gonna happen i'm just saying if they happen and so it's these are your rewards that can't go down it's just a protection for everybody if a sell-off happens everybody still has their rewards uh, so that's a really awesome thing and these rewards can be quite significant based on the amount of tokens you have which is why if this price ever drops a lot it'll be an awesome entry point into rewards rewards that have already built up for everybody, which is awesome. So just keep that in mind. And like we said, that $1,180 gets you that 255,000 tokens. If we go to 10 cents, then that would put you at 
$25,500 with your bag value. And if we went to a dollar, that would put you at $255,000 if we ever went to the price of a dollar. This is obviously gonna be the most exciting one because 1 1.2 million tokens puts you in our whale pool, which gets extra rewards. It's this extra incentive to keep our whales in the project, which helps the project do better long-term and to grow more. So 1.2 million tokens at today's price cost around $5,550, should get you around 1.2 million tokens. If the price goes down a lot, then that becomes cheaper. And if the price goes up, that's gonna become more expensive. But this gets you into an extra reward system that's gonna increase these amounts. <clears throat> There's also two factors that I'm not including in any of these numbers is that unstaking fees fuel these rewards as well as the fact that the rewards appreciate because they're utility appreciating coins. So they're also going to be appreciating over time. So it actually might be much more than the numbers that I'm showing you. Five million in volume at today's price. For those that are entering in at today's price, you would have $1,475 in rewards. At 20 million in volume, you'd have 5,900. And these are rewards that can't go down plus the ability to sell your bag. At 50 million in volume, you'd have 14 thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars and at a hundred million in volume that number we're really trying to hit you'd have around 30 grand so for every person who has 1.2 million tokens and is staked in the 12 month pools they'll be able to get that thirty thousand dollars in rewards if we hit a hundred million in volume whether it take us a day or whether it take us all year to hit that if we ever hit a hundred million in volume and we're only two weeks old then you'll have around thirty thousand dollars in rewards uh, plus the ability to sell your bag. 300 million in volume turns into almost 90 grand. 500 million in volume turns into 147,000. And if we ever hit a billion in volume, which is a lot, not say it's gonna happen, but if we did, you'd have around $300,000 in stable coin that can't go down. For every single holder that has 1.2 million tokens, you don't have to sell to get these, you just have to stake. And then you also have the ability to sell. So that $5,550 today's price, 0.003912 if we go to 10 cents which we're at 0.003912 right now if we go to 10 cents that will become a hundred and twenty thousand dollars plus you have your rewards if you're in the staking pool and if we go to a dollar which obviously would be a 10x from there you'd have that one million two hundred thousand dollars if we were able to ever hit a dollar i'm not saying that's gonna happen it's just if that happens this will it'll happen plus you have the ability to sell your bags so i'm just doing a quick video to go over some of the rewards and some of the price uh, opportunities that people can see that it doesn't take much price increase to see some significant gains in your bag. And you also have the rewards along the way. And so if other people are selling and they decrease the price, your rewards won't go down, which is super nice. That protects the project. It protects the holders. And it, it leaves value to other people who typically get nothing in a, in a crypto project. If you guys enjoyed today's video, just make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below what you think a good number is for the rewards. And I'll do my best to respond to all of you guys.